Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here at PA Creative with another quick Divi Pro tip. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add short codes anywhere in your Divi layout and we're going to be putting that into a Divi module. So if you didn't know about this, this is going to be really handy. A lot of different WordPress plugins come with short codes that you need to put into your layout and you may be wondering how to do that and how to style it. I'm going to show you how. Let's get started. All right, so first of all, you may be wondering what short codes are. And short codes are just short pieces of code that you place on a page in your layout that actually reference other code on your site. So instead of like adding a whole bunch of crazy PHP code right on your page, it allows you to place the short code, the short code, right there instead. So it's always referencing something. Else. So there's a couple of examples that are common, like maybe a slider module, um, an Instagram feed, something like that. And I'm going to show you that. So I have an Instagram feed set up right here. And when I configured it, it comes up with display your feed. So, you know, I'm using Divi, but, you know, this is just a regular old third party plugin from, from WordPress. Okay. So there's no module. There's no Divi module. Otherwise, I'd be happy to go here and just add it. But since this one is using a short code, it says right here, copy and paste the short code directly into your page for it to show up. So I'm going to copy that. This one in particular happens just to be Instagram feed and that's inside brackets. So I'm going to go here and there's two ways you can do this in Divi and you want to add a new module. So let's go here and then there's, like I said, there's two things. So one of them would be the code module and that's just, the module it's just called code and you could go in here and paste that short code just like that Instagram feed and you know that's what a lot of people do um, I actually prefer a second method that I'll show you real quick but what it does is it, it'll you'll see that little preloader there for a little bit until it pulls in so this is this is um, right here in my layout so I have a module and now there's some things I could style with this um, but not a whole lot. So here you can see text. Um, you yeah, know, we could play around with this, but a lot of times it won't affect it. Some sometimes it will. Now, of course, alignment, sizing, things like that, we could definitely do. We could put a border on this thing. Um, just a quick example. See that we're putting that border around our module. Um, box shadow filters and all that stuff. All right, so I'm going to just get out of this and show you um, the second method. The other one is with the text module. And this is the one I end up using anytime I add a short code because think of the text module as an HTML module. So in here, in the, in the text area here, it says body and then visual and text. So a lot of times we use the visual, right? Because, you know, we're using the visual builder and we just want to type um, and maybe we, if we wanted a headline, you know, we'd be working here in the visual builder and you actually, you kind of see it here in the preview, but you don't see the code. But if you switch over to text, well, then you start seeing code. Like here you can see I made that an H1. Okay. So this, this is where you can see the HTML. So when you want to add a short code in Divi, what I always recommend is just go in here and get rid of the content that's there and then just add it here and you'll see it in this um, text tab of the text module. All right, so here it is. And it it looks exactly the same way as when we use the code module, but there's some advantages here. There's more settings usually in the text module. For example, here's heading text that wasn't in the other one. Um, spacing, I think was missing from the other one. There's filters, transform, animation. So there's a, a lot more settings here. We have a lot more options with, you know, every all these settings here, okay? So the code module is pretty limited in that way. So I just use the text module. And you can do this to anything. Um, you can even insert layouts in Divi using a short code. There's other ways um, to, to grab that short code. In fact, any Divi module is actually a short code. I know that can be confusing. Um, but that's actually how it works. It's, um, each of these modules is actually a short code. So if we were to, for example, if we were to, um, uh, switch off the Divi theme, we would see short codes everywhere where our modules are and they have parameters in them. And I'll show you real quick what a parameter is. So this would be one. 
this you know, this parameter here is called show follow false. So I think um, if this will work for this one. If I'd go in here, usually just add a space and then your parameter. So if I don't want there to be that follow button, that would be a parameter for this particular plugin. Um, it's going to be different for every plugin you use. But short codes allow you to like you know use these settings in the back end here. Um, a lot of times there's like here there's lots of configuration settings and you'll have this for like I said sliders and I mean pretty much just any plugin that you're gonna use all right so that's pretty much how you do it um, another one of a popular plugin that you're gonna need to use short codes a lot is WooCommerce so sometimes to add like your cart page and check out things like that so again it's really simple just put it in a text module or a code module um, that's how you do it. Okay, so that's how you add a short code into a Divi module anywhere in your Divi layout. If you enjoyed this quick tip, be sure to thumbs up my video and comment. I like getting comments. I try to reply to every single comment that I've ever gotten, and that's thousands. So it's 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 uh it keeps me busy, but I enjoy doing that. Um, so feel free to leave suggestions, feedback, whatever it is, ideas for new tutorials, things like that. And we'll see you guys in the next video.